Lighting is so incredibly important to photography, mostly because light is actually what we're capturing with our cameras. When we take a photo, we're exposing light sensitive material to light. In the old days with non-digital cameras, this was done by exposing film to light. Nowadays, we're capturing that light with our camera's digital sensor. We are, in essence, recording the information of light at the particular moment, time, and place. So if you work past all that technical jargon, it comes down to the practice of taking light and recording it so that we can reference it in the future, a photograph. Light is a big deal in photography, and there are many things about light that we have to consider. The intensity, the quality, and the how or where it falls. In this section of the Photography Masterclass, we're going to look at soft light versus hard light, natural light versus artificial light, and what an onboard flash will do for you versus an off-camera flash. Then we will look at what hot lights are and how to take some steps in creating some creative looks with all sorts of different types of lights. So before we get into it, here are some examples of how light can really change the way a photo looks creatively. In this photo, the couple is silhouetted. It brings focus on their kiss and them as a couple together, rather than the details in their face and them as individuals. Here we see a well-lit subject that's being backlit by the sun. Positioning the sunlight to highlight the person is a great way to make the person pop in the photo. Paying attention to the light in a landscape is a big deal as well. You wanna position and take your photo at the best time of day for what you're shooting. You may not be able to move the sun, but you get to decide when to shoot it. And you can always create your own light. Here are a couple of photos that we used flashes and strobes to create a specific look in both portraits, modeling, and product shots. I will forever be learning how to light my images, but in this section, we will cover the basics you need to send you on your way to using the light as another powerful tool in your creative photography toolbox. Let's get started.